Hello everybody, it's Scott Omato. In this video, I'm going to show you how to manually install Forge, uh, really 113 plus, uh, in the Twitch launcher manually. Okay, you may need to do that if uh, your install fails, and that happens on some older machines and such, and I'll show you how it works. Okay, so let's go to the Twitch launcher here and create a new custom profile, and I'll just name it 115 because we're going to select that version. So I'll select 115.1. You can see it automatically selects Forge 30.0.39. That's the newest one. Uh, if you just want to run a vanilla 115, then you can select none as the mod loader and you won't have any problems. But with one caveat that I'll show you in a moment. Uh, but you can select none and you should be able to launch okay. But we're going to try Forge, okay? So when I choose Create Instance, you can see it's going through and it's trying to install Forge. It was doing this patch or whatever. It fails, okay? It Forge has significantly changed its install procedures. So it fails in how it installs because it actually builds some files on your machine and stuff now. It, it's kind of a mess, but uh, it fails for this install process. Now the caveat that I wanted to mention is you need to be using Minecraft Launcher version 1.6.93 if you're using this old jar launcher, okay? Uh, and you know, you can see this launcher is dated to around 1.11.2, but some of these older systems still need to use this jar launcher, all right? But I have a video on the channel and I'll link to that on how to uh, switch it to get the newest version because Mojang released a new version specifically to address an issue with 114 and above uh, for this jar launcher. Okay, but you can see we have our profile here, 115, all of this but if i select play then it's going to fail okay see it fails right here with the game output window and it's basically telling you you can't find certain files and, and what have you all right so the forge install failed so we need to do it manually all right so what you want to do of course is go to minecraftforge.net only that site to get forge and then we want to select the 1.15.1 1 along the side or whatever version you're going to need and download the installer right here okay uh, so once the installer comes out on your disk it'll be a jar file uh, like this okay and then you'll want to run that do whatever you need to do to let it through the gatekeeper or through windows defender open you know and let it through all right so once that installer launches it's going to give you this window here all right right here now i have a, a a point that i've always browsed to because obs won't let me select when i'm running this jar application all right so basically you want to install the client right here and then you're going to want to select the path and then that's what i'm doing here now your path don't be put aside that i'm on a mac it's basically the same on windows it's in your documents folder and it's either under a directory called curse which i've been running it for a long time so my directory is called curse if you have uh, only done it since the twitch launcher it'll be called twitch okay but you basically find your twitch folder and then you find the minecraft folder inside of that and then you choose the install all right the install folder choose that as the the point where it's going to install forge all right and then just hit okay and then forge will go through and do its building and all of that that it needs to do putting the files in the right place uh for you to uh, be able to use them. So it's, it's a little bit longer process uh, than it used to be uh, because again, it's building. It's building all the stuff, but it'll tell you that it successfully installed it into your launcher. All right, now when we go back to Twitch, we should be able to launch that profile, no problem. All right, uh, so if I hit play, it'll open. So basically, if you download a mod pack, for instance, all right, let's say, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this launching here for a second. But if you've downloaded a mod pack, let's say 114.4 or 115 mod pack, you need to match that Forge version, okay? So you can find that out uh, looking at install under your instances, or not actually under install, under the curse or Twitch folder, under instances uh, here, under the Minecraft JSON, Minecraft instance.json will tell you the Forge version right here on this third line. So if you download a mod pack, then look for that Minecraft instance.json and look for the Forge version so you can match it, okay? So anyway, we're launching now. Everything's going just according to plan and we should be able to play 
uh, from here. Okay, so the manual install was successful. So you can see Minecraft 4 is 30.39. And of course, because it's a beta, it's gonna give you this warning about it's got issues and whatever. All right, but that's basically it, guys. That's how you manually install Forge in the Twitch launcher uh, if you need to do that, okay? And uh, maybe sometime in the future the, they'll fix this or whatever, but this is what we have to do for now. Anyway, I hope this was helpful to you, and if so, please let me know. And thanks so much, guys, for watching. It's Scott Omato. Have a great day. Bye-bye.